Yo, what's going on out there, YouTube fam? This is Sammy Lager here, representing Team JVS for JVS Reactions. I know you guys have been missing our easy x Nally videos. Um, you guys seem to have really enjoyed them. I got a lot more reactions I'm going to be throwing at you guys now that I got a new methodology in the way that I'm actually doing the reaction game. It's going to cut down time, precious time. And so uh, the last video I did was kind of easy. Uh, on Easy's channel, Young Easy's channel, um, just kind of setting the record straight on her emotions with stuff. I thought about doing a reaction with them, uh, with their, uh, with uh, Nally's sister and her husband. I thought about doing the reaction with Easy and um, the husband that just recently came out, but I was like, I cannot, I cannot miss this video because to be fair looking at easy's video it's evident to me and I, i'm gonna set the record straight from my personal opinion so i can clear the air with it that these women would not go through these links of putting their family members on a video talking about the the real nature of their heart for each other you know what i'm saying on top of that even natalie with her brother and her sister, you know, talking about like what's really going on inside of her heart. They wouldn't put their families through this. It's not. It's not that much money in the world to even do that. I mean, it is, but I don't. I don't perceive that being their situation. It's not about a book. It's this is something that's really actually going on. The issue that I've always really had was personally, and it's not even my business to have an issue. It's just really more so an opinion. Is that with putting your stuff out there to the limelight, to the masses, you know what I'm saying? Like your relationship, you know what I'm saying? You you run the risk of people attacking. And it's like they've built this empire, so to speak, off of each other. Like they each other's strengths, you know what I'm saying? But it's like now people are left within this space of like, consuming content entertainment and they're just looking and fishing for a story and their assumption is going to lead to the most terrible things and it's like for me personally if i was easy and natalie i would have really you know explored whatever this relationship was or gonna be offline and it's like still continue to work your business still continue to go and do your stuff vlog here and there on different moments vlog here and there different moments so that when the time comes you guys you know have y'all can on your own time on your own time let people know like look this is where it's happened this happened back in january this happened back in may this happened back in whatever then you can go and you'll have a plethora of content you'll have all your fans that are still going to be right there excited for you but it's kind of like with this being done in real time and you you still trying to fill out each other's like headspace like it's totally different like i can tell you that there was a difference between me being single me dating my wife alicia me being engaged with my wife alicia and then me being married to my wife alicia just like the transition of now me being a dad um all those different segments of time are completely different and completely uncomfortable and it's like Yes, I could have gone and vlogged and done all these kind of things, but it puts me susceptible to so much that I didn't need to hold on to. And I think that that's one of the most dangerous. I mean, it, it can be beneficial. And I know that, you know, Easy and Natalie want to express to their fans what's going on in their life, like really, truly vlogging. But it, it from an atmospheric standpoint, it leaves you susceptible to anything and everyone from a negativity standpoint. People are just looking for something negative to go and spin. And so I worry within this video that they might be a casualty of that circumstance that with, with, with Natalie, you know, through the, even the circumstance of what's happening, like with her, like it's just a lot being thrown at her. And even with easy, like really, yes, of course, happy, but trying to navigate what that looks like. It's just hard, bro. I, I, I would not have, you know, put it everything on video i wouldn't have put the first date up there i wouldn't have put like the you know the outpour of emotion from easy and i mean i just would have kind of kept it condensed uh in-house and then after the fact and the thing is they could have already you know dealt with all this all this could be already done 
I just looked at a little bit of like a great interview they did, I guess, back in May, even though it was published today. Um, they looked so happy and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. <laughs> We're going to see what happens here. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this uh, reaction. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm slightly worried. I'm not even. I'm not even going to lie. Each other. Not too long ago, I was going through a lot of things with her family, and I had made some tweets. Uh -oh. I don't know what you want me to say to you right now. I just need you to hear me, Natalie. I have to go. What are you, Natalie? Come here. Come here. Dying. What? what Social media sensations: Young Easy and Natalie Odell have taken the internet by storm. So wait. So okay, now this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. This is not good at all because if i i've been i've been looking at all of this it's just the past week and a half like it's been insanity so i had to kind of stay away but i could tell that you know the brother josh there was things that he didn't want to say there was things that natalie's sister didn't want to say that was happening behind the scenes so i'm assuming that this is where this is in regards to but I don't know, bro. My uh, again, this goes back to what I was saying. Like, some of this stuff just needs to be dealt with in house, bro. Like, it's don't need to be recorded. Even this whole conversation don't need to be recorded. Like, it, why why make a video about it? I just really wouldn't. Gang, I just want to say first and foremost, Black Lives Matter and everything that's been going on. I am hurt. If you haven't been living under a rock and not knowing what's going on with this George Floyd, shoot, everything we've been dealing with for years, comment hashtag Black Lives Matter. And I just want to say, you know, we had to take a break from social media because it was just a lot going on in our personal lives. But it's just like, as far as posting, we can't fake content and act like we're super happy and act like, oh, let's do like some challenges sense. and stuff like that that's, when that's all of these real issues are going on in the fucking world, y'all, okay? So I want to start that's off by saying that. And with that being said, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I just feel like ever since we kind of came out, like me and Natalie, our story, there's been a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. And it's it, it's really emotional for me to make this video with the protests and the stuff going on. Um, along with that, it's just like so many things have, you know, transpired with me. And Again, bro. You don't got to make a video about this. Like, I'm trying to understand Easy's. I'm trying to understand Easy. I, at this point now, I'm trying to understand Easy because I get, you know, making the diary. I get journaling. I get art. I get expression. I, I just, I don't, I don't understand making a video about this right now. Sorry, I paused on a terrible. <laughs> and it's kind of just new for us and there's a lot of things that we aren't showing you guys because we can't pick up a camera 24 7 you know but it's like i want to be truthful i want to be honest with you guys so you guys know what's going on you guys have been having but you don't owe us that you don't gotta tell us nothing bro like bro <laughs> man there's so many different things that you know what i'm saying me and my family have gone through I can tell you that you guys on YouTube do not know, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, like, and I mean, I guess it's just different for me, you know what I'm saying, like, some of the stuff I go to God about, you know what I'm saying, like, I go to my friends about, get them to pray for me, talk with me, but I, I don't, I mean, sometimes, like, you know, if I feel led, like, I'll share with you guys certain things, but, but nah, bro, I, I, I don't think that, he, I don't, in my personal opinion, easy. I don't think you need to. You don't have to show us anything, bro. Like, you ain't got to do that. Questions about, yo, why did you guys unfollow each other? Why haven't you guys been hanging around each other? You know what I'm saying? If you guys notice in some of the videos, like a few of them were pre-recorded before all of this stuff was going on and stuff like that, and it's just like. You guys can tell that there has been something going on. And today I'm here to address it. I'm going to um, talk to Natalie for the first time. I'm kind of nervous, um, you know, and, and she has some news that she wants to tell you guys I already know. And it is very heartbreaking, but, you know, dealing with our friendship for over three years, it's something that I can handle. Um, but I just want to, you know, we want to keep you guys updated on what's going on and what's going to happen between me and Natalie. Before. What the flip? So, so now I'm assuming that the video that 
easy made that I just reacted to is the it's coming from but not see the only way that I would assume that this would be a reality is that it's just been too much for Natalie to handle. It's been too much. And again, I, I keep saying it. It's, at this point, it's done. It doesn't matter. But I think if they vlogged less, <laughs> like this, even this right now, if they vlog less, talk more, that progression is the work. And not just that. Just do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Like, make videos, have fun. If y'all want to go out and, you know, talk about your thoughts and emotions about what's going on in the world right now, COVID-19, like, talk about that. And y'all can still be able to produce content and still give yourself time. Because, I mean, I don't know. Like, hmm, let me listen. I actually, um, you know, head to Natalie's house. I kind of want to sit here and talk about, like, you know, what's been going it's, on with me, and then she can discuss, like, what she's been kind of going through, I guess, and we could talk about it together. But, but really pretty much, if you guys haven't seen or don't know what's going on between me and her, not too long ago, I, you know, I was going through a lot of things and behind the scenes with, you know, her family. And I had made some tweets. You know, I made some tweets, and it was pure selfishness pure emotions that came up that i was triggered by from the past you know and i didn't know how to express that and i decided to take it to social media because i'm so used to this social media life and being real and stuff like that it's just some things you shouldn't do because it will ruin a relationship you know what i'm saying and i feel like me doing that was childish me doing that was not being in control of my emotions and i have been doing so much work on myself and I've been growing and learning how to deal with my emotions and the fact that I have been preaching about spirituality and preaching about growth I took a huge step back and I just want to say I apologize my actions did cause a reaction and how Natalie is feeling about certain things I completely understand and I have to respect so I, I you know I'm only human and I'm not gonna sit here and justify my actions I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh because I'm human I get to do this or oh, what I can't feel certain emotions and it's just like no you do something and it's a reaction to it and depending on how the person can handle what you do is it's going to determine you know the, your future together or anybody's you know whether it's friends family anything but oh, so I'm going over to talk to her about it right now and um, like I said there's something that she really needs to tell everybody you know uh, it's, it's something that I, you know if I wasn't working on myself I feel like I wouldn't be able to handle but I understand what she has to say and, you know, things that she needs to do. You know, I'm going to head over there right now and take you guys with me and, you know, um, it's just been one hell of a roller coaster of emotions, y'all. Especially, like, not coming out too long ago how I'm in love with this woman. All right, well, I'm just, I'm just going to go over there and we'll talk about it there and I'll see you when I get there. Bro, why are you vlogging so, this, bro? This shouldn't be vlogged. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling so many emotions right now. It's like, oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I get the essence behind like pranking someone is the possibility of their reaction being less than what you would expect. <laughs> In other words, say I played a prank on, you know, Joe, my brother, you know what I'm saying? And like, the prank was, yo, I broke your car. And I took, like, a car that was, like, looked just like his. And I just smashed it and filmed it and everything. Showed him the video of it. And then I had, like, his car, like, stashed somewhere. And, like, he came up to me and, like, socked me in the face. And then it was like, yo, I'm done with you as a friend. And, like, then I tell him, yo, it was, it was, it was all make-believe. It was, he's like, nah, bro, I don't play like that. And I lose that friendship. That is... It's like the essence behind the prank, you know what I'm saying? But you stand possibility of losing. And this whole vlogging, like the, the rawness of their vlogging is very entertaining for entertainment. But it's not beneficial for a relationship, bro. And that's where I'm worried about them with this, man. We're gonna, I'm going to listen, though.
there's so many emotions that I feel and certain things because I can't change them it's just like hard but it's how you deal with certain things you know what I'm saying so it makes sense why she's been going back and forth from her sister's house it makes sense why at least didn't say anything in the hey. last video how's it going Done. I'm cool. Dang. 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 You have my weights. Huh? You have my weights? Yeah, I brought them in the car. I see you brought your suitcase and stuff down. Okay. All right, let me get your weights. Hold on. I can put it in there. Help you. Dang. Well, all right. Um, that's, that's all your cool. weights and stuff. Um, do you want to, you know, before everything happens, like kind of like talk and just make sure we're both on the same. Bro, why are you recording this? Easy. As as communication and where my head's at and where your head's at. Easy. Why are you um, recording? This? Actually, you know, I'm. I need to get on the road because it's a long drive. So I wasn't really like planning to talk. I was just gonna load this up and head out. I mean, I just feel like. Like, can I please just get a conversation? You know, I just need a little bit more clarity and, you know, just making sure. I'm going to pause this, bro. And this is this is out of the utmost respect. Stop courting this because <laughs> this is too much. Like, it's way, way, way too much, bro. Like. It ain't, I'm not going to say it's coming off obsessive. I think some of the people in the comments in, their, in this video are going to be like, oh, this wasn't real, oh, this wasn't real. I think it's completely real. I think that problem is that this shouldn't be recorded, bro. Like, this is something that, and I don't mean to laugh, this, this should not be recorded at all. It looks like as though either she's moving back home and moving out from, I guess, her spot. But I, it seems like she just needs some space. But easy, you know, you need to stop recording, bro. Like I, I don't. It just seems too much. Like, why are you recording, bro? Anyway, I'm not, you know, thinking any. Sorry, this is this is a conversation between them. It's got nothing to do with us, <laughs> like. Our relevance in this is minuscule. Like, you could, I could literally spit a whole conversation about how I've had a conversation with my wife about something that happened today. You know what I'm saying? I could give you guys exposition. I can go and talk in detail verbally about what happened. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you guys to perceive whether it's real or not. But, like, this don't have to be recorded, man. The way, except for exactly what you tell me. Please. Just a conversation. Alright. Huh? Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dang, cool. she is. I hope you take she your stuff is. upstairs and then we can talk upstairs. No, we don't. We, we can just talk right here because I don't have much time anyway, so. Wow. Okay. Cool. Wow. I can set the camera up on that dumpster. Can I still record? Yeah, it's fine. Sure, sure we don't have to. It's alright, you know, like, I just feel like. What? <laughs> it's an easy gang, so I guess. Bro, I feel like she was about to say, I feel like you recorded it. <laughs> like, this needs to, like, why are you recording, bro? Like, <laughs> this doesn't need to be recorded. Um, I kind of told them, and you know, you already know, like, kind of how I feel, but you know, you can kind of reiterate it and, you know, kind of tell me. So I don't have any, you know, misunderstandings or I don't think that there's hope and then there's not or no hope and there is. Like, you know, kind of just break down what you're feeling. Um, you know, first of all, I just want to say that thank you guys for being supportive, forgiving, um, 
you know us some space like through this time i know a lot of you guys noticed um certain things that were alarming like us not following each other and you know you guys were kind of putting two and two together because um some of you also noticed the tweet that she made you know i just want to say thank you for not being too intrusive and being patient with kind of what's going on between us um it's really hard guys like when you live a public life and you're also really going through stuff to know how to deal with it you know because sometimes having too many opinions doesn't help um but then also i know that we're trying to have a more open line and stream of communication with you guys so that you really you know understand us and feel like a part of us our friends our family i don't really know what you want me to say you know i know that you came for some type of clarity some type of maybe confidence or me to say something that was going to make you feel better or soothe the fears that you have but i don't i don't know what you want me to say to you right now i mean i just i know you wanted to bring my weights and in hopes that you'd be able to get a little conversation in but there's nothing that I can say there's nothing that I want to tell you right now you know like I'm sorry like the only thing that I can tell you right now wait but I'm I'm sorry I just I just need you to hear me like you don't have to be sorry about anything I'm the one I know look I'm gonna just go I'm gonna go what do you mean I have to go go. what do you Natalie come here come here So, um, it's what I think. I really think it. I think that my concern that I've had from the beginning, and I expressed in the beginning of this video, and I expressed during the middle of this video, was that I I don't understand the concept of trying to add in, you know, a group of people into the progression of your actual relationship um, for good or bad Um, because it ultimately yeah it can go and bode well people boosting you up but even when you know like certain things the good things that happen with me and my wife like we don't even share that with social media with our friends because people have their own perceptions opinions and they're very intrusive and sometimes they can be very demeaning and, and negative, even if they're trying to be positive, um, because their opinion, it, it, it has to be assessed in some way, shape or form. And I think that when it comes to this specific situation, I don't know what Easy said, but it definitely, it hurt Natalie's heart. I could tell that, like, she, I thought she was about to say, like, yo, I don't even want to be your friend no more, for real, for real. Um, like, not even, like, on a relationship joint. Like, and not just that, I mean, Natalie didn't really say much. What's happening is the way that I'm looking at this, and again, this is hard, because some of you guys are going to be like, yo, this joint ain't even real. I'm still off the assumption that this is still real. What I think, though, is that Easy's coming off is just, to this and it's like going like i'm trying to assess like if your whole point was supposed to go to natalie to give her the weights like if you want this girl back if you really want to apologize why are you going there with a camera bro like there's no need for a camera with that like it ain't and i feel like natalie didn't want no camera there like she she sees appease she still loves easy i can i can see that because she's still trying to appease easy by allowing the cameras but she needs to like easy's gonna have to really ask nally and i i, I don't know if Easy's gonna watch this video for real, for real but she needs to ask nally after all this is done or even right now like do you feel like our relationship or our possible future relationship should be recorded like she should really ask that question because i think that 
she's so excited and wants this that that's not something that's in consideration and it's gonna have to be for this to for this to work like bro this can't it, it can't keep going like this <laughs> it just can't bro it really can't it really cannot and now, like, you got stuff that's on the back fold that we don't even know about. And on top of that, this is a part one, part two video. Like, I don't know. I mean, easy brought it up that, you know what I'm saying, they sometimes they edit stuff like this in the last video. But this really could have just been a full 40-minute video, to be honest with you guys. And I still would react to the whole entire thing. Like, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Um, if some of you guys want to allow it to your opinion that this isn't real, you're entitled to that opinion. I do perceive that it actually is real. I just think that Easy's going about it the wrong way. I really do. I think that this needs to be more just them and personal and their relationships. Gonna, like for their relationship to be able to flourish and maneuver, like they're going to have to reel it in, bro. Like it, it it, it can't, it's, this can't continue like this. It just can't. It's not sustainable. Um, now, what happens next? I, I don't know. It'd be interesting if this is a cool little prank, you know, but I don't think it is. Um, it's rough, bro. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this review. I'm sorry, this reaction. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Um, Definitely go uh, subscribe to their content. Go to the description bar below. Subscribe to Young Easy, Nally Odell, and of course Easy X Nally. Definitely leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys later. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. God bless you guys. Peace.